Okay, continuing on with the repairs for the water damage DJI Mini 2. The ESC just arrived, shipped from Hong Kong, 27 bucks. Looks nice, looks just like the original. Now it's just a matter of unsoldering these joints right here, these connections, and removing the old ESC board. We'll replace it with the new ESC board. And I'm giving it about a 50-50 chance because there's a lot of other electronics in there. So it could be just about anything. So I'm going to get started. I like to use these optivisors uh, for my old eyes. These really help a lot being able to see these really tiny connections here. I put a little bit of flux on uh, each of the connections. That'll help it release. Okay, I've got my soldering iron good and hot. Go ahead and grab the first wire right here. And uh, I think I'll do the red wire next. And now the black wire. And I'll just do that for the other three motors. There we go. And they're all disconnected now. Okay, next step is just to remove the three screws here, here, and here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, screws are removed. And then move the wires out of the way, disconnect the main connector, move that out of the way. And there's this tiny little connector, use the screwdriver to separate it. And I think we're fully disconnected now. Okay, it's necessary to move the GPS module out of the way a little bit, just so that I can slide this ESC board out. It's a little screw right there, and another one right over in there. And then I can lift this up and out of the way and slide that uh, ESC board out. Meanwhile, when I move the uh, wires for the motor over, I just uh, did the color code down here to make sure that I get them back on in the same sequence. White, black, red, white, black, red, and like that on number one, two, three, and four. Put the screws over here so I don't lose them. And little O-rings underneath two of the screws. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove the board. Take the old one out. And here's the two boards side by side, the old one on the left and the new one on the right. Put the new one in. New board goes in, the right part first, and then I got to get this pushed over it. Okay, we got that overlap in the ESC board. We can put the screw in there, but first I'm going to put the screw back in the GPS module, these two right here. That screws back in, and so is this screw over here. This thing is really well shocked, you can see the amount of shock absorption they have for the uh, GPS module there. Put the O-rings back in on the ESC board, it's there and here. I'm gonna put these three screws, one, two, three, back in. ESC board screws are all in, and now we'll do this connector, the main connector, and this small connector over here. Okay, I just tend the contacts up here for this motor, one, two, three. Put just a little dab of flux on there, and then a tiny little bit of solder. So that'll be ready to go. And then we'll do them one at a time in sequence here. So I'm starting up here in the right corner. Okay, I got the first one done. The optivisors helped out a lot for working on these tiny little contacts like that. Now I'll do the next one. Ten the contacts. And those three are done. All the motor wires are soldered back onto the ESC board. Okay, everything's connected. 
Let's go ahead and give this thing a try. 50-50 chance. Let's get some. Okay. Well, that clearly did not work. Um, could be the control board, flight control board, or any other one of the electrical components on here. But uh, I think for now, I'm just gonna save this thing as a backup. And I do have another drone I picked up here off of uh, Craigslist for about half price. So I've got a backup. If I have any issues, I can use the parts from this one on there if I uh, don't lose it altogether. So if nothing else, maybe this video will help others who managed to drown their drone and get the same uh, indicating lights that I had. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just uh, fly this one for now. And if I need parts, I can cannibalize this one here. And uh, I might go ahead and get an ultrasonic uh, cleaner and go ahead and try and clean the uh, flight controller. That's probably what the problem is. I get a new one, but it's like 140 bucks. And I don't think I wanna put any more money into this thing at this point. I'll just save it for parts. So uh, if I do another video, I'll post it and that's it for now.